Cinematic video gives you an idea how intense these flames were. That massive fire rips through a valley apartment complex, leaving two dozen people homeless. Tonight, that blaze has left 14 adults and 11 children devastated. They essentially lost everything. We have team coverage on the fire. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan rushed to the scene near Nellis and Stewart and spoke with a man who was able to get everyone out. Brian. Yeah, you can see crews have now boarded up the apartment there. They've also got security here trying to keep people away from this building to make sure nobody gets hurt. Nobody was hurt in the actual fire. That could be because of that neighbor that rushed over here when he saw the flames and let people know about it. Flames shooting from the balcony of an apartment as a fast moving fire rips through the building. I was kind of maybe think the stove might blow up, so I kind of backed up. One man discovered the fire when he opened his door. When I start, I see that that smoke and I ever seen and I'm, I get out to the apartment. A neighbor racing to help. My mind had gone blank. Mario Constantino knocking on people's doors, warning them about the fire. One of the cats was outside. I grabbed them and pulled them out. We saw how the fire was starting to like go further and further, so we tried to beat the fire and getting people out. Firefighters attacking from all angles to protect the other apartments. It took firefighters an hour to extinguish all the flames, but fortunately, no one was hurt. And still no word from firefighters on what caused today's fire at this apartment building. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Thanks, Brian. Our team coverage continues with more on another dangerous element for firefighters who were battling this apartment fire. Not only did they have to fight the flames, they were also dealing with dangerous desert heat. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live at Nellis and Stewart with more on the hidden perils when it's almost as hot outside as it is inside. Chris. Steve, firefighters have to battle smoke, flames, and heat inside buildings like that. But when they get outside, they don't catch much of a break. And that could put them at serious health risk. They rush into blazing hot fires when you need them the most. It's, it's dangerous. Firefighters face all sorts of perils when battling a blaze. Roofs can cave in on their heads. Floors can collapse under their feet. Smoke, high heat. We also had a... Um, a roof collapse here, so we were worried about our crews. Thick smoke can make it nearly impossible to see, and roaring flames make an apartment building as hot as an oven. It's tough, it's tough. And just when you think you can catch a break, Mother Nature turns up the heat to more than 100 degrees outside, adding another danger, the risk of heat exhaustion. Heat doesn't help things. Nick Grant is a captain with the Clark County Fire Department. He helped battle the blaze inside this apartment building at Nellis and Stewart. Not only watching the fire, but I'm making sure that they're still staying with it, that they're not getting too overheated. Deputy Chief John Steinbeck tells us they check vital signs, shed their heavy helmets, air tanks, and coats, as well as take breaks in what little shade they can find. After about 40 minutes, we're definitely looking to rotate them at the most. A friendly neighbor hands a jug of water to firefighters. Others gulp down sports drinks. Staying cool when nature ratchets up the heat is a challenge, but one they're up for. That's, that's what we're here for. And that's what we did. The deputy chief tells us firefighters train for brutal conditions like this. They follow safety protocols and give their crews medical attention when they need it. Live at Nellis and Stewart, Christopher King, 13 Action News.